Now, here's a question for you. Could you tell the difference between a priceless piece of art and a fake? Well, that's the challenge in a new series on Sky Arts. It's called Fake, the Great Masterpiece Challenge. It's presented by the art historian Rose Ballston. Uh, before we speak to Rose, uh, let's take a look at what the programme's all about. Public are being challenged to look more closely than ever before at the nation's art. I'm going to go full budget Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I think it could be that one. I think it's that one. That's what we want. Families to break up over this. Uh, well, I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> Rose, I suppose <laughs> this, is, this is the idea of the show, <laughs> isn't it? To challenge people to try and spot a fake and to teach you how to. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, the great thing about the programme is that people were encouraged to go into the galleries, to look closely at the paintings, to really look at paintings in ways in which they hadn't done before, in order to be able to kind of create a kind of emotional connection with the paintings and really look closely. But how on earth can uh, ordinary members of the public, like us, if we went into an art gallery, we wouldn't have a clue? How, how, how can normal people possibly know when something's fake and when it isn't? Well, it's all about looking closely, of course, and there's various things that you can look out for. So one of the most important things that I felt was that you should look at the colour. So if you're looking at a painting that's 300 years old, of course the paint is going to get a little bit dark, it's going to look old, it's going to look aged. And so if you've suddenly got a painting that's really fresh, really bright colours, that doesn't look aged at all, then that's a bit of a giveaway. Another side to it is whether there's any cracking on the surface of the paint. Um, and cracking is a, is a sort of sure sign of age. So those are two important things to look out for. Is it like looking for a needle in a haystack? Because I think of just London, where we live, all the galleries, all those paintings, millions and millions of paintings. You just said to people, go and find the fakes. And oh, no. That is hard. OK, yeah, that would be... You're absolutely right. <laughs> and that would be extremely hard. And it can fool some of the professionals as well, can't it? You have to remember that. Yeah, but it, it wasn't like that. So, so there were eight different galleries. There's eight episodes. Um, and in the first seven episodes, we had one room in each gallery which had ten designated paintings that were could potentially be one of the copies. Okay. And then, so we, had, we only had 10 paintings to work with, and then the public would look for the copy within that 10. Yeah, looking right. in the whole of London would be a bit so That's tricky. a bit easier, okay. Yeah. So the idea is the people who are looking for these fakes, they learn a little bit about the artist, because obviously if you know Van Gogh, for example, if you know him inside out, you'll know what to look out for and what his signatures are and, you know, yeah. all the hallmarks of his art. It, so, yes, if, if you already know a little bit about art, then, yes, you can look for those signatures. So if you're looking for, say, a Gaines, Gainsborough painting, you know he's got quite light and feathery brushstrokes. But actually, it wasn't just for people who knew about art. It was for anyone. And this was the great thing about the show, was that families came in with young children, people who'd never been into art galleries before. And it was just a very good mechanism, this sort of detective element of it, to get people into the galleries, to look closely at art. And you, you'll see when you watch the, the series, I mean, so many people said, I've never looked at art in this way before. I've never felt that art could be engaging and interesting. But because of this sort of slightly sort of detective element of it, people loved it. Mm. And they went away thrilled and excited that they spent this amount of time with I art. I love that they're called art detectives. Yeah, it's good. I like that term. <laughs> yeah, and I love the fact that you presented this with Giles Corrin. We can see him um, behind you. Now, I, I like his um, food critic column in the paper. He's so rude. Is he as rude in real life? <laughs> <laughs> Giles is a very kind, erudite, witty man, um, and I, um, I thought he was delightful. I wasn't entirely sure what to expect, um, <laughs> but yeah, he was delightful to work with. And the great thing about him is that you know he, he before this series, he didn't know a huge amount about art, so he was looking at the paintings with quite fresh eyes. So it was thrilling for me to see how he responded to the works, as it was with all the general public as well. And as SJ said, did, did it fool any of the experts? Did someone come out of this looking a bit foolish because they didn't spot the real thing or the fake one and they no, should have. There was never there was never the aim to make anyone look foolish at all. I mean if some people who were very knowledgeable about art didn't get it right, then that is a testament to how brilliant the yeah. copyists yeah. were. Mm -hmm. And indeed they really were incredibly talented artists in their own right. And you've travelled all over the country filming this. It's not just in London, you've been to Liverpool, Manchester and Cardiff as well, exploring the art galleries. Y yes, indeed, and, and Edinburgh as well. And that's the point you know, so often we think that the great art in Britain is in London, but actually the regional collections are fantastic. And the, the, all of the galleries that we dealt with are free for the public 
to enter. Um, so it's our art that we can see every day if we want to. You know, we can go into any of these galleries for free. And that was the point that we highlight regional art as well and, and the great brilliance of regional art. OK, Rose, really interesting to speak to you. Rose Ballston, fake the great masterpiece challenge is on Sky Arts now. Thank you very much. Thanks. Uh, still to come here on Sunrise, we're going to take a look at the sports headlines. Uh, any of those fake, Jackie, or, uh, or ratified, no, no, all good? No all good fake sport, no fake sport. Mourinho, though, uh, running out of patience, I think. <laughs>